Hello and welcome to my F122 driver grand mode here today, part 52 for the Italian Grand Prix. As we are in the second race of the second half of the season, after we come into this race off the back of a very soggy spa in Belgium. Here's what today's grid rundown looks like. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position. Charles Leclerc alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Norris, Perez, George Russell, Brown, Sainz, Gasly, Ocon, and Kevin Magnussen, Sonoda, Oscar Piastri, Mick Schumacher, and Stroll, Schwartzman, Tickton, Fernando Alonso, and Guan Yu Zhou, Albert, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. So we come into this race off in the back of a very good podium last time out in Belgium. And after some poor results going into the summer break, we're looking to do better the second half of the season so we can get the championship back on track. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're doing a one stop with five for that. We're off the Ferrari, the free ride from the car, gets put onto the car and coming in through turn two. But it's a clear, we will need Ferrari out. Monza is it to the dry of the case, then it's not to stop them. We are being for it. If you go a little bit more, try to have a look at it, it's stopping, then it drops back end as we can come around. Get around this track, I'm already made. Slight gap on those behind back to the McLaren of Lando Norris. We're on the back of Max Verstappen. We're getting closer, we're getting closer to the championship leader. And we're going to break late up the inside into the chicane of turn one. We're up into P2 and next. We can get out of that Ferrari and ruin the defensive hopes. Hopefully, of a Ferrari win. We're right on the back line. Off the cars, we go through the Viscari chicane. We come out of this chicane, we have a massive double double again. We come in track through the gravel track. And we've lost some time now. So the gravel are right on the back, we could have possibly had a look into turn one, but we just can't find that now. Unless we do send a massive dive bomb on the cloud. As we get down the pit straight, we're too far back to anything. Of, of such as a dive bomb, we're going to have a look down. We did think about it, but we're too far back on this occasion as we go into lap 3. Now coming to the end of lap 3, we once again we got close to the back of Ferrari, and once again we've gone off the track of the Parabolica. But then, like last time, this time we're coming at the front. Then Max Verstappen, is he going to go left or is he going to go right? He's going to go right. Up, up the inside of us. And we're going to put a lead. Cut across him. We go a bit deep. And we fend off the Dutchman and stay ahead of Max Verstappen. But it would only be a couple of laps back and he is right on the back of us again as Verstappen. But we're going closer to the ground again. And this time, we're gonna go down the inside and into the lead of the ground floor. So the cloud goes very wide as we push him there. And Max Verstappen is going to clean around the outside. And Leclerc is going from the lead to third place in a matter of two corners. And now can he get past Max Verstappen? Back! And Max is after us on the end of lap for eight. Going into the parabolica, can he hold around the outside? He's thinking about it. We show him the door though. Now the plan is we go right again. We're literally nose to tail. Here's Leclerc. Max Verstappen goes to our, our outside. Leclerc, is he going to make it free wide? The Red Bull hasn't got the straight line speed. Down the inside goes Leclerc. We chop across him. Max Verstappen tries to hold around the outside and he can't and Leclerc gets the exit on the outside of turn 2 and he stays ahead 
when a man finds the cloud, his wings started to pull away me and the cloud. Max dropped back here into the cloud and locking down the pitch straight side by side we go. We have the DRS on Leclerc as well, gets him alongside. And Leclerc, oh he's locked up, he's locked up, there's nearly contact between us. We've come right off the track and pinched him. And Max Verstappen is back through and up into P2 once again. This is an incredible three-way battle for the lead of the Italian Grand Prix. As on to lap 12, Leandro, us and Leclerc are going to box for our one and only step of the day. Max Verstappen has continued on. The game of the tires and Ferrari nearly got Leclerc ahead of his hair. That would actually a good pitch to the point, it's not very likely. But we've stayed ahead of Leclerc. Now though, can we be out most of this happened? Can we get away from Leclerc there? And we'll see what happens and whereabouts Max is when he picks. But here we come now, further around the lap. Here is Leclerc, he's going to go to our inside, we chop across him, going down into the discourage again, we fend him off, we've gone wide, Leclerc now all over the back of us, we've gone wide, we've done what we did at the start of the race, this time my Leclerc, he's on our back tail, there's the yellow flags in the background because the Alfa Romeo, the Swartzman, he's slowing down, and Alfa Romeo's home Grand Prix. The driver is out, the Alfa Romeo driver. Here is Max Verstappen out of the pits and miles clear of me and Leclerc. He has done the wonder overcut, getting past both of us, that little battle going into this, this garage again. Didn't really help us. That is why Swartzman is out of the Grand Prix. Big engine failure. There's now on to lap 14 and this is Leclerc on the back of us. As we try to get after Verstappen, Verstappen just managing the pace out front now. And Leclerc goes to our inside. We shut the door on him and he goes wide and locks up. And now with us giving us a little bit of a gap there. And now we manage to break away from Leclerc. And now we're on the back of Max Verstappen and we dive on him into the first corner. Catch the red ball napping and we are through and into the lead of the Italian Grand Prix just like that we catch the Dutchman out and he's trying to get back past us but he couldn't now on to that 19 he's not giving up the win we're once again battling him like it was last time out in Belgium round the outside we do what we did to Leclerc earlier on we chop across him at turn one he has to really back out to that. Meanwhile though, on the other side of the Ferrari garage, Carlos Sainz is having a, an awful race. And on lap 26, with just one to go, he is out of the Italian Grand Prix as he pulls off at turn one. We have fought long and hard for this. We overtook Leclerc, we overtook Verstappen in what was an, an incredible battle and we're going to come home to win the Italian Grand Prix. Absolutely awesome, just amazing mate, well done. Here it is then, victory in the Italian Grand Prix, a historic race and an achievement they could be immensely proud of. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it.
So that's been your Italian Grand Prix for season of four. And what a race it was. Three way battle for pretty much the entire race between me, Verstappen and Leclerc. Just like it was last season, there was a three way fight as well. But we were trending around at the back battling Williams that day. George comes home for a P5. Perez P4. Magnus and a good result for Haas who have really dropped off as the season's gone on. And the three way fight in this race is also the three way fight at the top of the Drivers' Championship, headed by Max Verstappen by some 58 points. We are 65 points behind. It's looking very slim. Looking back now, Hungary and France really have hurt us. In terms of the constructors, we're so far off, really. We're looking at Ferrari now. Red Bull in a world of their own with not that many races to go as well. But we go into Singapore next, one of my favourite tracks on the calendar. Hopefully we can just keep building on these last two races and maybe just maybe by the time we get to Abu Dhabi we may just still be in the fight for the championship I will see you in the next video goodbye